Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a rollerball pen. Uh, it's from this brand, Keysor or Keysor. Um, Keysor is, this brand is uh, run by the same people who are um, in charge, I suppose, of the uh, Tianzi fountain pen brand. Uh, and they've come out with this rollerball, which is actually a, a rather nice rollerball pen. Uses a standard Schmidt uh, refill uh, and has some really interesting little bits and pieces about it. So let's have a look. So firstly, this is just the packaging, which I actually think is rather nice. Um, it's kind of got this like very um, kind of retro vintagey kind of like look with this kind of material. Um, and then the pen sits in here and you get a uh, lift tab, a spare refill under pen tray, and you get the spare refill in a simple little paper bag there. So simple, simple packaging. Um, and this is the pen. So this is the rollerball pen. It's just simply called the Kiesel Rollerball, um, as it says here on the um, on the packaging. Kiesel Rollerball pen set, black, made in China. This pen is available currently on Amazon. I'll link to that uh, down below. But let's talk about some parts and features, and then I'll do a little writing sample, and then uh, talk about a couple of pros and cons. Okay, so the pen is a snap cap. It's got a simple plastic liner uh, in the cap in there, as you can see, just in there. It is a metal body pen. I think it's probably, realistically, I think it's probably lacquered brass. It's definitely a lacquered material. And the lacquered material actually goes undergoes uh, some pretty sort of serious testing, according to the website, uh, to sort of make sure that it's not going to, um, you know, sort of scratch and flake sort of too easily. Um, the top of the pen is flat, and you've got these kind of like little ridges on the top of the, the cap there you got the cap the clip band sorry and the clip that comes down it's got a sort of a interesting design to it um, and the profile of that shows that it sort of it swells up to it and it's fairly rigid but it's got a, a bit of a gap in there and uh, that little sort of rounded off section which makes it usable the cap swells slightly and then we get to this sort of center band with um, a little interesting logo on there that looks kind of a bit like a fountain pen nib and keys are on the back there. As I said, is snap cap. Um, interesting little step down with some gold bands there. And the body continues along and then tapers down to this rather large uh, gold ring, which has a couple of lines in it, which mimic or copy the, uh, the rings on the top there, uh, and then tapers down to a flat black end again. Um, it's a very simple design. When you snap the cap off, you get a couple of little step downs with a another gold colored band uh, to the section, which is rather slim and tapers a little bit. And then you get the standard sort of rollable uh, end there. When you unscrew the pen, it's got nice screws. They feel very secure. Uh, and there's a little bit of sort of spring in there with the refill. And as I said, it is a Schmidt refill. Uh, it is the 888 refill. This is a fine uh, safety ceramic roller, non-dry refill made in Germany. And uh, when you get a pen with a Schmidt refill, you're kind of guaranteed to have a pretty decent writer. These are really solid refills uh, with a, a really nice ink in them. As I said, you screw that body back in and then you snap the cap back on. It is a, I suppose this is a pen that is designed to be something like a, a gift pen or a executive business pen. It's nice, it does the job. It's not super ostentatious or garish or anything there's nothing sort of too flashy about it it's just a really nice black gold trim pen uh with yeah with a really really solid refill in it as i said this pen uh was is made by the same people who are in charge of tianzi and i think actually if you look at the two pens obviously it's a lot smaller but there's a couple of like similar kinds of you know design features in terms of like little tapers toward the end and the bands and things like that so I think you can kind of see that the same kind of people are behind it. They've obviously got a, a similar kind of taste in the pens. Um, it's currently available, as I said, on Amazon, which I'll link to down below. Uh, and the current price is, before postage, uh, is $25.99, which makes it a really good price because, like, you are getting two refills of this, you know, that come with the pen, the one in it and the one in the box, and you're getting a well-made metal pen uh, that has a nice weight to it. The pen weighs 36 grams, um, and 22 of that is in the body, and 12, 14 is in the cap, and it does post. Um, I wouldn't probably write with this too much posted. I think there's a, because of a bit of weight in the cap there, and being a fairly slim pen, uh, it 
you know, you kind of feel like it's a, it's a little bit back heavy, but that's okay because it, when it's unposted, it's actually a very, very sort of decent length and uh, a comfortable writer for sort of pretty decent note writing sessions. Um, the basic dimensions for the pen are 137 millimeters when it is capped, so nice length, 122 when it is uncapped, and 151 millimeters when it is posted. The section around the middle there is about eight millimeters, so it is on the slim side, particularly if you are used to being a, you know, a fountain pen user. I just pull up the Tianzi here. You can see that the grip section uh, is considerably narrower. Um, so yeah, if you are a fountain pen user, that is what you mainly write with. Uh, this is going to feel a little slim in your hands. If you are used to writing with rollerballs and ballpoints, that kind of thing, you'll probably be okay. Let's look at a size comparison now. So just to put this pen into sort of um, into a place that we're familiar with, I've brought up the Lamy Safari Rollerball. Um, this is the rollerball I sort of go to. It sits on my desk. It's it's always around. Uh, it's got a nice. I, I don't mind the Lamy refill. Um, and then I've also got here the Bic four color click simply because it's a pretty, these are both pens that people be familiar with. So it'll give you a decent idea of roughly uh, the size of this pen and where it sits. If we look at the pens uncapped now, you can see it is a smaller pen. It's narrower, it's shorter, uh, but I think it's an okay size. Um, and for smaller hands, this would definitely be okay. Have a bit of weight for a smaller hand. For larger hands, it might just be a little on the small side, but definitely still usable in my opinion. Posted, you can see it still fits into that same kind of space uh, in terms of the size. Time for a writing sample now with the keys orb. Rollable. As I said, this has a Schmidt 888 refill, and this is the 0 0.5 or fine in the black. So I find this refill to be incredibly smooth. It's got really nice flow uh, and lays down a very nice solid sort of quite black uh, rollerball ink. Now rollerballs do use a liquid ink uh, and a lot of rollerballs sort of are um, slow, slightly slower to dry. This one dries pretty quickly. Like this is Clairefontaine paper, so it's a very smooth sort of a uh, coated paper. Um, and you can see that you get a slight little bit of sort of smudging from the dry there. But if you're doing your everyday sort of standard writing, you'll see that, you know, like there's no problem with that smudging at all. Um, I've had no problems with this refill at all, with this the way this pen writes. I've enjoyed writing with it. I've done note taking with it. I've done lists with it, things like that. Um, and it feels comfortable in the hand. It's got a nice, as I said, the weight is really nice. Um, it feels like quality in your hand. And at the price that it is, at twenty five ninety nine, you know, on Amazon, I think it's actually a pretty good buy. I think there are much worse pens, uh, rollerball pens, in this price range. So let's talk about some pros and cons now for the Keysor. Keysor. I'm not really sure how to say it. I'll just keep saying Keysor because that's the way it looks on the page. Um, rollerball pen. Let's start with the cons. And I really think the only con that you could think with this is that it is not a big pen. Um, it's a comfortable sort of pocket size. Well, not pocket size, but like, you know, pocketable length. Uh, if it fit nicely in most cases, in most pen loops, things like that. It's slim. So, you know, you do feel like it's slim, but because it is a very smooth rollable, you're not having to apply a whole lot of pressure to write. And so you don't have, feel like you're sort of pinching down on the pen. Um, it is a lacquered finish, so that will get slippery if you have particularly sort of, um, you know, sort of oily hands or sweaty hands or anything like that. Um, the pros to this, firstly, super reliable, super smooth refill that is readily available and in a number of different refills in that size. So you can go, there are a number of websites online where you can search the Schmidt 888 refill and see a bunch of different compatible refills from both Schmidt and other brands. So you do have some sort of um, adaptability with that here, but if you are after a black ink, I don't think you're gonna do much better than getting the Schmidt 
um, 888 ceramic non-dry refill. Uh, this is, as I said, the 0.5 fine, and it writes beautifully, it's smooth, it's not super fine, but it isn't like gushy broad either. Um, the dry time on the ink is great. So if you're a lefty and have the tendency to smudge a little bit, you're gonna not get a whole lot of that with this. And I'm a lefty and I've not had a single issue with that. I really like the sort of classic, almost kind of vintage inspired design. I think it's got some art deco kind of elements. I think these lines down the clip here and the way they sort of end up on there, feels a little art deco-y. Um, certainly the flat top and bottom are sort of vintage, uh, very fountain pen-esque kind of features on a pen, uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, and it's not super heavily branded. Like, yes, there's a, the Keysor is written there on the clip and you've got the little, you know, the lo cat band, sorry, and you've got the little logo there, but you don't feel like you're being whacked in the face by a great big, like, logo on the side of the pen. Uh, other things that I think are really uh, wonderful about this is the weight and the size in the hand. Like it is a slim pen, but the length is good um, and the weight is really nice. 22 grams is not a light pen. You get that weight because it is a metal pen. It is lacquered. And I, as I said, I'm assuming it is lacquered brass. I couldn't find that. Um, but it is beautifully weighted in the hand. There's a good balance to it. And you certainly don't feel like you're writing with a small or light pen. Um, the other thing I really enjoy is the price point. $25.99, I think it's actually a very good buy. Now, are there cheaper rollables? Of course there are. Um, are there better rollables at this price? Yes, probably. But you're not going to be, I think if you're wanting a slim classic design, black, gold trim, you know, sort of gift presentation pen that comes in a, in a nice, you know, gift presentation style box, um, I think you're getting something here that uh, is certainly worth the money, especially when it takes that convert that refill and uh, has the Schmidt 888 refill inside it. So this was the Keysor Rollerball pen. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for a review, like Keysor did uh, with this pen, uh, and I'm very grateful for their support, providing originally the Tianzi Fountain pen, of course, and now uh, this. Um, so thank you very much, and please support them. I'll link to the Amazon page uh, below. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to get in, if you'd like to support the channel, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your writing instrument, whatever it may be, and I'll talk to you soon.